Good morning, children. Today, I'm going to continue with the explanation of Chapter 6, The Road to the Forest, written by Lyman Frank Baum. So please pay attention while I read and explain the chapter. Thought team, you say this because you have no brains. No matter how dreary and dry you are brave, our homes are, we people of flesh and blood would rather like to live there than in any other country, even if it's beautiful. There is no place like home. Then, Dorothy tells the scarecrow, no matter how dull and gloomy the place where I live is, that is Kansas, but we people who are made of flesh and blood would rather like to live in Kansas than in any other beautiful place that we call home. Now, she tells the scarecrow that my place, maybe it's dull, it's, maybe it's very grey, but I would love to live in Kansas than to live in the land of Oz. Scarecrow, of course I cannot understand it. If your head was stuffed with straw like mine, you would probably probably all live in this beautiful place and then Kansas would have no people at all. It is fortunate for Kansas that you have brains. Then the scarecrow told Dorothy, maybe I am made out of straw, my head is stuffed with straw, I cannot think, I don't know what love is, what affection is, what bonding is, what family is, what home is. But if the people of Kansas were if their heads were also stuffed with straw, they would have called the land of Oz as a beautiful place as compared to Kansas. They would have also called this place beautiful, that is the land of Oz beautiful, as compared to Kansas. And then there would have been no people living in Kansas and then the people of Kansas would have called this beautiful country their home. Dorothy, won't you tell me a story while we are resting? Then Dorothy told the scarecrow, Please tell me a story while we are taking a rest, while we are resting near the brook. Scarecrow, my life has been short that I really know nothing. I was only made two days before. Then the scarecrow tells Dorothy that my life has been really very short and I don't know much about the world or much about land of course because I was being made just two days before. What happened in the world before that time is all unknown to me. Means I really don't know what happened before two days. Whatever I know is within these two days whom I met, where, where I have grown, you ask me about all those things, I can only tell you about that. Before that, I don't remember any such thing because my memory is very short. Luckily, when the munchkin farmers made my head, one of the first thing he did was he painted my ears. Now it was, then the scarecrow said, when the munchkin farmers, who made the scarecrow? It was the munchkin farmers, the people of Oz, who made the scarecrow, the munchkins. So when they made, the, what was the first thing that they made? They made the head of the scarecrow. And the first thing that they painted was, they painted his ears. The first thing that they painted was they painted his ears and while they were painting his ears he could hear what the munchkins were speaking or talking about him or about the world. He asked his companion if he liked my ears. The second munchkin replied that his ears were not straight. Then while making his ears the first munchkin farmer asked his friend he if if the ears of the scarecrow were straight, whom did he ask? He asked his second friend, that is the second munchkin farmer, whether the ears of the scarecrows were straight. But the second munchkin farmer replied and said, no, the scarecrow's ears was not straight. They were not in the right position. Dorothy, what did the first farmer say? The scarecrow said, he said, they are ears just the same. 
Then the scarecrow replied and said, They are years just the same. They are years just to year. It doesn't matter whether it is up or down, if it's big or small, or whether they are in the right place or not. Then he began to paint my eyes. As soon as he had finished painting my eye, right eye, I found myself looking at him and everything around me with great deal of curiosity. Then after making the then after making the years of the munchkin farmer, then after making the years of the scarecrow, then the munchkin farmers began making the eyes uh, eyes of the scarecrow. Now the first thing uh, means then they started making his right eyes, and when he made the right eyes, then the scarecrow was very eager. He was he was happy to see the person who was making uh, the, he saw the first munchkin farmer who was making uh, making him that was the first glimpse of the world of hills and he, when he saw the things around him he saw it with great curiosity he was very excited he was very uh, excited to see things and he wanted to know what he was seeing the first thing that the munchkin farmers when they were making his eyes. The first thing what the scarecrow observed was the person who was making him. It was the first munchkin farmer. And after that, he had a glimpse at the world. And when he looked at the world around him, he looked at the world with great curiosity. He wanted to, the thing that he saw, he wanted to know what he was seeing, what the scarecrow was seeing. That's why he was very excited and very curious. For this was the first glimpse of the world. The second farmer praised the color of my eyes. He thought blue paint was just the right color for them. Then the second farmer, that is the second munchkin friend, praised the color of his eyes because he felt that blue was looking very attractive on the scale crow's eyes. So he praised the color of the eyes. The farmer painted the left eyes a little bigger than the right. I could see much better than before. Then the second, uh, then the first farmer, munchkin farmer, he painted the left eyes little bigger as compared to the right eyes. And then the scarecrow could have seen more better, and he, he saw the world more better, and he could see the world more clearly now because his right eyes was little small, and he, with, uh, when he made the big. Uh, Left, when he made the left eyes, it was much bigger as compared to the right eye, so he could see the world more clear. So he was very happy. So the scarecrow felt happy, and he was he could see the world more clearly now. Children, I'll explain the remaining chapter in the next class. Until then, thank you.